this patient was referred to me two years ago, approximately, for endodontic treatment of tooth number 13. Tooth, as you can see, is part of a bridge, periapicular lucency, and a small buccal parialis and sinus tract associated with the tooth. That's the tooth here. One, two, three, four, a four unit bridge. All right, and you can see right there, that's the small buccal parialis and sinus tract. Tooth probed, I would say two to three millimeters. So we'll discuss options with the patient. Try to see if we can save the tooth by an RCT. We would have to drill through the bridge. So let the patient know that um, he might need a new bridge. Also discuss as always with the patient because of his infection, no promise or guarantees that uh, the peripheral lucency would heal the infection would go away. The patient said, let's try to see if we can save the tooth. And as you can see, here's the date approximately two years ago. So we went ahead and did the root canal for him, went through the bridge here, and as you can see, two canal systems, and everything went great. And we temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to his dentist. Again, that was approximately two years ago, as you can see right here. And the hope was for this infection to go away for the buccal, small buccal parialis and sinus tract to go away. And, uh, well, patient came back a few days ago and said, well, the, that little pimple on my gum is back and, uh, take a look and see what's going on. So we took a PA of the tooth and lo and behold, the periapical relucency is still there, maybe slightly bigger now, two years later, two years post endodontic treatment. And patient was correct. There was a sinus tract on the buccal aspect of the tooth also. That's the tooth right there. And we went ahead and Trace the sinus track and of course it went to tooth number 13 as you can see that's my tracer right there so we discuss options with the patient again we can try to see if again we can save the tooth no promise or guarantees we would go through the same endo axis as before remove the gutter percha irrigate everything again um, activate and uh, this time i would use mta Hopefully we can save the tooth for you. Again, no promise or guarantees or the other option is to extract the tooth. Patient said, let's try for the last time. Let's try to see if we can save the tooth one more time. All right, so, and that's the post-op. Went through the same, the endo axis that I had made uh, through the bridge two years prior. Removed the buildup, removed all the gutter percha and irrigate the heck out of the canals. Activate it and placed an MTA plug, as you see right here. This is white MTA, followed by gutter percha and sealer and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to his dentist. Again, let the patient know. No promise or guarantees because of the infection. So, well, we'll see. Hopefully the sinus tract will go away in a few weeks. Ask the patient to please come back and see me. So, in a few months, so we can take a couple of radiographs and make sure that your infection is going away. If the infection doesn't go away in a few months, uh, once we have the patient come back, let's say in six months, and uh, the sinus tract is still there and we take a PA and we see the size of the periapical relucency hasn't decreased, then the next option would be either apical. The tooth is now ready for an apical because there's an MTA here. Apical would be very simple now, quick, fast. Or if patient doesn't want to do an apical, then extraction would be the next option. So we'll see in six months. Hopefully patient shows up in six months and I can, I can take a video and post it here on my social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, threads, and YouTube. We'll see.